Okay, well, welcome to the first, hopefully, in a series of video lectures on 196. Um, I'm not going to hopefully appear on your screen, but just my handwriting. So the first one is on distribution. Um, and we'll just start with an example, since many people should have seen this before. So example one, multiply out, and I hope my handwriting doesn't completely dissolve, 2x plus 3y times 5x plus 7y. Um, and note, if there's nothing in between the parentheses, that means that they're multiplied together. Usually, well, there could be a dot like this. So, distribution, how does this work? Well, Everything in this parentheses has to multiply everything in that parentheses. So we start with the 2x, and multiply that by the 5x, and the 2x by the 7y. So you get a 2, 10x squared, that's 2x times 5x, plus a 14xy, that's the 2x times the 7y. And then we have to multiply the 3y by both the things here. So 3y times 5x, and 3y times 7y. Now. 3y times 5x, that's 15xy. And just to keep track of things, I'm going to put it over here. And so I have a little column. These are the xy's are in this column, x squared's in this column. And then we'll put the 21y squared over here in that column. All right, so we end up with four terms. Two for multiplying 2x by things, and two by multiplying 3y by things. And then we add them up. We get a 10x squared plus 29xy plus 21y squared. There you go. Uh, also known as FOIL, first, outer, inner, last. So, <clears throat> um, we knew a similar thing. Example 2, x plus 3 times x minus 3, and we multiply that out. So we distribute the first x to each of the two terms. What do you get? You get an x squared, and then x times minus 3 gives me a minus 3x, and then 3x times minus, <clears throat> 3 times x, and then 3 times minus 3. Well, 3 times x will give me a plus 3x, and 3 times minus 3 gives me a minus 9. And again, when I distribute the x, I write the answer. When I distribute this x, then I write the answers in one row, and then when I distribute the 3, I write the answers in another row so that I make sure that I can check my work easily. And here when we add them up, we get x squared, the minus 3x and the plus 3x cancel each other out, and we're left with minus 9. So note that when we multiply stuff out, we get four terms, like in the first one, 1, 2, 3, 4, but they might combine to give you 3. And in the second example, one, two, three, four terms, but they combine to just give us two. So, how many terms you get, you know, there's some kind of combination going on there. And that kind of combination is going to be, when we go to factoring, is going to be a little bit of an issue. Okay, so, slightly more complicated thing. Say x plus three times x squared plus 2x plus 5. And let me tidy that x up a little bit. x. There we go. So how many terms are we going to have here? Well, should have six terms because this x has to be multiplied by three things, and that will give us three terms. And then the three will have to be multiplied by three things, and that will give us another three terms, so six overall. So when we distribute the x, one, two, three terms, and we get x times x squared is x cubed, plus x times 2x is 2x squared, plus x times 5 is 5x, and then we distribute the 3, 3 times x squared, that's a plus 3x squared, and we'll put it in the x squared column over here, and then 3 times 2x is 6x, and that goes in the x column. And then 3 times 15, well, 3 times 5, that's just a number, 15. And that goes in its own column. So what do we have? x cubed plus 
5x squared plus 11x plus 15. And that's how you distribute things. Um, note that we had six terms, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. But these two in the x squared column combine to give us 1. These two in the x column combine to give us one term as well. So we actually only had four terms in the solution. Um, so distribution is actually pretty straightforward. Just make sure you take each thing in one of the parentheses and multiply it by everything in the other. And then the same thing for the other thing in the parentheses. And you know, be a little orderly about how you uh, keep track of things so that you can check your work easily. So, distribution and parentheses. And parentheses. Period. So, <clears throat> here's something with many parentheses. Simplify M minus open parentheses, M minus open parentheses, M minus open parentheses, M minus 1, close, close, close parentheses. So we have one set of parentheses, two sets of parentheses, three sets of parentheses. So how do we deal with this? Start with the inner parentheses. Parentheses. That's this one. So, how do we deal with that? Well, it's minus m, minus m minus one, and the minus sign, since it's multiplication, has to distribute to both of those. So you end up with minus m plus one. So minus times m is minus m, minus times minus 1, well, two minuses make a plus, so we get a plus 1. So, m minus open parentheses, m minus open parentheses, m minus m plus 1, close parentheses, close parentheses. So this whole bit, we distributed it the minus sign, and then we can get rid of the parentheses. And we can actually clean that up now, because m minus m, that's just 0. So what is it? It's m minus, open parentheses, m minus, m minus m is just 0. So these go away, and you're left with 1. And since there's nothing going on inside that parentheses, it becomes m minus, m minus 1. And we know what happens when we have minus m minus 1. It becomes minus m plus 1. So that deals with this parentheses. It becomes m minus m plus 1 because we distribute the minus sign, and m minus m, those cancel out, and we're just left with 1. So this whole thing here is just a complicated way of saying 1. So minus signs in front of parentheses, they have to be distributed to everything inside the parentheses, just like if you're multiplying you know, 2 times something in the parentheses, the 2 would have to be distributed to everything inside the parentheses. Um, So, example 2, 2x minus 3 times x plus 4 times, open parentheses, x minus, open parentheses, 3x plus 1, close parentheses, close parentheses, close parentheses. Oops, I wanted a plus 1 right there. There we go. So we have one set of parentheses there, one set of parentheses there, and one set of parentheses there. So what does this equal? And we'll work our way down the screen here. Well, we'll start with this minus sign and distribute it. So we have 2x minus 3 times open parentheses, x plus 4 open parentheses, x minus 3x minus 1. Close that parentheses, and then, oh, this parentheses is that parentheses, and we have a plus 1 and a close parentheses. So we dealt with this set of parentheses by distributing the minus sign, and now we can clean up what's inside here, 2x minus 3, x plus 4, x minus 3, x is minus 2x, minus 1, and then a plus 1, and close that parentheses. And now we need to deal with these parentheses, well we need to take this plus 4 and distribute it 
to both of those terms. We get 2x minus 3. This is the last set of parentheses now is here. x plus plus 4 times minus 2x. That x3 is going to give us a minus 8x plus 4 times minus 1. That actually gives us a minus 4. And then we have this plus 1 floating around outside. So tidy up inside the parentheses. x minus 8x is minus 7x. Minus 4 plus 1 is minus 3. Now we have to deal with this last parentheses, 2x, and we distribute the minus 3 to both terms. Minus 3 times minus 7x, well minus times minus is a plus, so we get a plus 21x. Minus 3 times minus 3, oops, that was my watch going off, sorry about that, uh, is plus 9. And then we can combine the 21x and the 2x to get a 23x. Plus 9. Don't forget that plus 9. And so, again, in distributing, start with the inside parentheses, distribute your minus sign, combine like terms, distribute your plus 4, combine like terms, distribute the minus 3 to get this, combine like terms, and then, you know, all the parentheses are gone. So, one last issue with distributing. What about minus x plus 5 quantity squared? What do you do with the minus sign there? What does the squared mean? Well, squared means that you multiply something by itself. So this is really minus x plus 5 times x plus 5. And there's a couple ways to do this couple of ways to do this. You can multiply the x plus 5's together first and then multiply by the minus sign or you can just minus sign times one of the x plus 5's and then distribute. So if we bring in the minus we get minus x minus 5 quantity times x plus 5 and then minus x times x and minus x times 5 well, we get a minus x squared minus 5x. And then we have to do minus 5 times x and minus 5 times 5. That would be minus 5x plus, oops, not plus, but minus 25. Minus x squared minus 10x minus 25. Because minus 5 times plus 5 is minus 25. Minus times a plus is minus. And that's pretty much all we need to keep in mind about distribution, except for one important case. A difference of squares is a minus b times a plus b. So, um, you know, and of course this goes with the, both ways, right? a minus b times a plus b is that. a squared minus b squared can be turned into that. So what is 7x minus 5 times 7x plus 5? Right, Same thing, 7x is 5's, except the 1 is a positive, 1 is a negative. That's this case, right? Same thing here and here, same thing here and here, but 1 is a plus and 1 is a minus. And this is an easy case because it just means take the first thing and square it and then take the second thing and square it. Ugh. Um, and subtract. So 49x squared minus 25. And we'll see this case in a number of places over the course of the semester. So that is, I think, everything we need to do about distribution. And we can go on to factoring as the